There are some weeks when I wish I was a kid again. And this week gives me a chance to be that way. So what I want to do is I want to read our scripture passage before uh, Maddie's uh, sharing of uh, her reflections. And so would you call the scripture up? This is from Philippians chapter 4, verses 10 through 13. Now, what's really interesting about this whole letter in the Bible that Paul wrote is Paul is in prison. Now think about that. He's in prison for believing in Jesus Christ. He's been in prison. As a Roman citizen, he has a right to go and, and have his, uh, his, his, uh, his, his place in court. But he is in prison. And I just want you to think about it. He's in prison, but look at the tenor of what he writes from a person in prison. In my life, in union with the Lord, it is a great joy to me that after so long a time you once more had the chance of showing that you care for me. The Philippians, you see, have responded and cared for him when he was in prison. I don't mean that you would stop caring for me. You just had no chance to show it. And I'm not saying this because I feel neglected. For I have learned to be satisfied with what I have. And I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have more than enough. I have learned this secret. So that anywhere, at any time, I am content, whether I am full or hungry, whether I have too much or too little. I want you to read this last uh, verse with me, please. I have the strength to face all conditions by the power that Christ gives me. This is a word of God for all of the people of God. I was given the, the privilege growing up of attending Camp Casawasco for 11 years, and I've never been able to. Oh, you need to talk to me. I've never been able to thank my mom for this. For her decision to send me to camp that first year, it was a great decision, and I want to thank you for that. Not only did my mom put me on this path to meet new friends and give her a week-long vacation, but she also led me to live a, Christ that, uh, that live a life that Christ wanted me to lead. Now let me give you a couple statistics. On an average day, American youth spend about 82 minutes on their phones, 80 minutes playing video games, 27 minutes on computers, and 6 minutes reading. And it only leaves about four minutes to play outside. But at camp, they are not allowed to bring your phones or any other electronics to camp for many reasons. But that gives you the power of just being able to be there and be in the light of Christ for that whole week. And that's just something very special to me. And near home, on average, a church budget has about 15% goes towards their youth programs. But only about 24% of pastors feel that youth ministry is a priority. And I am proud to be part of a church that puts youth ministry as a high priority. This week I experienced over 100 kids learning and praising Christ. Favorite memory both Pastor Mike and I share Thursday night at the end of our closing, seeing 110 kids singing at the top of their lungs, How Great Is Our God. Camp is a place to express yourself without the, fear, without the fear of being judged. It was never the popular kid in the school. It was never the one who had the most friends. But at camp, I was number one. And they made you feel that way. And that always made me feel great. Camp is a place for kids to discover God's love for them. They experience hope and peace and acceptance, something they may not experience at home. They find a place to create a new adventure. And kids of all ages find help navigating through tough decisions that they have in their lives. There are many important things that a child can learn at camp. You can sing at the top of your lungs and still be cool. Best friends can be made overnight. God is big. They may not see that at home, but God is big. And it's a special place that can stay with you for a lifetime. And that's most important to me. But also, sometimes your life can be changed in over a matter of a week. Casuasco is 
not the only place that a life can be changed in a matter of a week, though. I saw this happen this past week at VBS. Seeing over a hundred kids here this week praising God, singing at the top of their lungs, making best friends overnight, that changed my life. This week at VBS, it taught me more than just what the Bible can teach you. It also taught me to take a step back and just take in that whole experience. It taught me that gratitude can be shown in many ways. It showed me that the smallest things might mean the most to a child. And it also taught me how to be a kid again in many ways. This week, I met kids from many different walks of life. But one thing these kids had in common was the way that they praised God. They all came in and they were so excited. And that changed my life. A running theme this week was, God has my back. Just like the friends that I made at camp, just like the friends that they made this week, they all have their back. Whenever I feel like I'm in a situation where I'm stressed about something, or I feel like no one has my back, I can always turn to God and ask him, God, please help me with whatever I'm struggling with. Just like I can turn to my camp friends. When I started college, I kind of lost my way as a Christian. I threw 100% of my time into school and work, and I really didn't have that much time with Christ. But the summer after my freshman year, I attended camp at Dempster Grove in New Haven with a family friend. And just those couple days I was able to spend there, they really showed me how to find my way with Christ again. And I heard the song, Brother, I Need to Breathe, to really put me back on that path. So I want to listen to that song now. really touched my heart when I heard this song. And when you call and need me here, saying, where did you go? Brother, I'm right here. This part of the song reminds me that whenever I feel alone, I always have someone there to have my back. Whether that be God, or my mom, or my friends. God is my shelter. He is my fortress. He will never abandon me. He is the light that leads me home. This is something that was very important to me that I would have never learned. My mom never sent me to Camp Kosciuszko. Camp can be a very important place for a child, and I know that because camp is a very important place for me. Thank you.